Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. In this video, we will put to test our high voltage discharge system. We have our capacitor bank, 850 microfarads at 990 volts, the spark gap switch, and high voltage capacitor charger. Each of these modules, I have made videos in the past. You can see the links in the description of this video. The capacitor bank is where we store energy in order to discharge it uh, at a later time. As we said, 850 microfarads at 990 volts. I put the bank inside this wooden box for security because a uh, discharge of this bank can be very, very dangerous. And at the back we have the two wires for the discharge and another two wires connected at the same points, but here we will charge the capacitor bank. Next time you need a PCB for your electronics project, consider using the professional services of JLC PCB. JLC PCB is the world leader in PCB fabrication. You can order online. You just need to register, upload your Gerber file, and wait a few days for your PCBs at an unbeatable price. The spark gap switch is also enclosed in a box. Uh, as we said in the previous video, we need a spark gap switch in order to turn on and off the capacitor bank in order to discharge it because a normal switch will be destroyed when we discharge the capacitor bank because the discharge occurs in a fraction of a second and that implies uh, thousands of watts so we cannot use a simple switch finally the high voltage power supply is here it is a Masili or CBS circuit that fits a ferrite transformer and with this charger we can obtain from 100 to above 1000 volts and it will charge of capacitor bank very quickly okay so the connections goes like this the low voltage power supply fits the capacitor charger and the high voltage output from the capacitor charger goes to the capacitor bank then the output of the capacitor bank are these two wires one of them goes to one terminal of the spark up switch and this is the other terminal of the switch therefore the discharge from the capacitor bank occurs at these two wires when we press the button of the spark gap I will test the system by exploding a fine copper wire. Here it is. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but it's a fine copper wire. And when we discharge all the energy of the bank into the wire, it will vaporize. This experiment is known as the exploding wire. I will turn on the capacitor charger until we reach a voltage of 6 to 700 volts and then when the capacitor bank is charged I will press the button of the spark gap switch and that energy should be enough to vaporize the wire. Let's see.
Okay. This is what is left from the wire. We can see this stain here, which is basically the dust that results from the vaporization of the copper wire. Okay, so we succeeded in testing the capacitor bank system and we were able to explode the fine copper wire. So in the future, I will make some other videos using this system to perform other interesting experiments. So stay tuned. Thanks for your visit and see you in the next video.